here at the 2015 Southeast Region Baseball Tournament. Press conference after game two, we have winged coach Jeff Gregory. Uh, coach Gregory, maybe start off just some comments on the game. Um, yeah, I thought it was uh, two really good teams going at it, and uh, I thought both guys on the mound did a really good job. And you know, it was a good, good competition between both teams, and uh, we just came up on the short end of it. Coach Brett Morgan, you've had that phenomenal run through the SAC tournament. You call on him here, your senior. Looked really good until that fourth inning. Walked a couple of guys, but got out of it. Was there anything you were sensing going into the fifth? Did you expect those? I obviously didn't expect the wheels to fall off as much as they did, but what was the issue there? Um, no, I, you know, it looked like he just he lost a little bit of command in the fourth, but still was able to make some pitches and get back into it and get out of it. And, uh, you know, course of the course of the year, usually he, he might have one little inning where he kind of loses a little bit of feel, but then he hops right back into it and has been very good, which obviously is why we went back to him. And then, you know, he just had that one inning, you know, right behind it where he just, he just, he was close, but just lost a little bit, made some pitches, and they were able to get a big hit and uh, score a couple of runs and capitalize on it. That top of the fifth was probably the best chance Wingate had to break the game open. Thomas Spitz comes up with runners at the corners, grounds into the fielder's choice. First, I'd like you to take me through that fielder's choice from your third base coaching box. What did you see with Krebs running down that third base line? Well, anytime that you've got first and third like that, it's a potential double play, you're going to send your runner on the down angle. Uh, he had to kind of hesitate because it wasn't just necessarily a ground ball. The ball was hit a little bit on the line. It wasn't really hit hard, but he had to kind of freeze just for a second to make sure he wasn't caught get doubled off. You know, and then he tried to stay in it, tried to score. But, you know, even then in that situation, the best thing to do is to stay out of the double play uh, and be able to keep, keep your inning alive, keep having a chance as opposed to hitting into a double play and be out of the inning completely. So, you know, when you got one out, you got runners first third, you're going to send your guy at that angle. It just was the ball was kind of a little bit of a soft liner at the tent, you know, with it. So he kind of had to hold just for a second. Um, and then he was cut down to the plate. And then that bottom of the inning, obviously, the four runs come in. What was the dugout's attitude like after that big emotional high, possibly taking the lead? It's all of a sudden you're down by four. Uh, I think it was the same. You know, it, obviously, the, the win went out of sales just a little bit. Um, but we're still in a ball game. So, we, you know, it was a 5 one ball game uh, all the way through. And, and they did a good job. We did a good job for the rest of the ball game. You know, and it was very well played. It's just really kind of one half inning that, you know, kind of was, was the tail of the ball game. And then it looked like starting in that six, Gunnar Kimes really just found his curveball and started mixing really well. What was that shutout inning doing to the momentum of the team? And kind of what did he do differently through that second half of the ball game that turned him around? Well, I think the second half of the ball game, he was throwing three pitches for strikes. Uh, I thought he was mixing early. He, was, he wasn't 100% sharp to start with. We had a couple chances to capitalize. We were able to squeak out one run with it. We weren't able to get multiple runs. Uh, and then he really settled in and was commanding three pitches for strikes and doing what he needed to do. And, and when you got a guy that really kind of sells into the ball game, commands three pitches, it's very tough to score some runs off of him. It was the nine, one, and two hole hitters that really did the damage for you guys today. Shane had a couple of really nice bunts to set up some big inning opportunities. What were they doing well then, like between Bill Krebs, Shane Billings, and Michael Cadenas? And then on the flip side, what was the problem for Thomas Spitz, Bradley Brown, and Josh Clark, that three, four, five that goes over for today? Well, I think that's just baseball. I don't know if it's one thing anybody's doing wrong or anything like that. Um, I thought Shane did a good job as part as far as putting out some blunts, beating some plays out. Um, was able to do that. You know, Michael had a good AB where he was able to, to grind that one and and, uh, and get a ball through the six. You know, we were able to score a run and, and tie it up. You know, and I, I thought they did a very good job against our middle of our lineup and kept them off balance and things such as that. And, and that's just the game of baseball. And then finally, Coach, you got the quick turnaround tomorrow, the 11 a.m. elimination game. How do you get your guys to shake off a tough day at the plate and just go get ready to play? You don't know who you're playing until the 7 o'clock game is done. So how much does that factor in and how much of that? What's the attitude like going through tonight getting ready for that elimination game? Uh, I think you just got to get a good night's rest and come out and play baseball again tomorrow. I mean, it's a tournament setting. Obviously, backs against the wall. We've been there before and done that. We just got to get ready to go. I mean, we got to figure out where we're going to play 11 o'clock. It's... It's kind of nice, you know, in the grand scheme of things, to be able to turn around and get right back on the field and, and uh, kind of see if we can create some momentum and go win the ball game. Thanks, Coach. See you at 11 tomorrow. Thank you. Appreciate it. Yeah, man.